Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about the Ryobi Dethatcher Scarifier on Dad It Yourself. So since I released my video on the Ryobi Scarifier Dethatcher, there's been a ton of questions and comments, and the follow-through on that has been amazing. Thank you so much for watching that video. But all those comments, lots and lots of questions, and I hope I can answer those in this video today. So the first question I've gotten regarding this scarifier is, how much was it and why did I buy it all the way in the UK? Well, at the time I purchased this, it was not available in the United States. But on May 20th, Ryobi announced that this unit would be available in the United States as model number P2740. And as of today, it has not shown up on the Home Depot website and is listed as coming soon on the Ryobi website. So the European version comes with a scarifier blade, which is a fixed metal blade. And then you can get the dethatching or the power rake blade as an accessory. I've tried to order one for this unit, but they're currently on back order in the European market. And looking through the material for the USA release, I can't see if it comes with a scarifier or the power rake blade, or if that's offered as an accessory. We'll just have to check and see. This unit is listed as 18 volts in the One Plus system, and it uses two 18 volt batteries. In my previous video, I used three amp hour batteries and had some issues with power and stalling, but I used these six amp batteries and it works just fine. The UK version does not come with batteries, but the USA version comes with two four amp hour batteries and a charger. Even though this unit uses two 18 volt batteries, it is an 18 volt system run in parallel, not a 36 volt system run in series. I received a lot of questions on whether it runs with one battery and then you use the red key to switch to the other battery. Well, I'm gonna run a couple of different cycles to show you what this is. And really, from what I've read in the book is this is just a safety key that you remove when you're changing the batteries or you're changing the blades to ensure that this unit never starts on its own. So I've got two batteries in here and the safety key is installed. I'm gonna remove the safety key and you're gonna see that this unit doesn't work. Put the safety key back in. And switch the safety key around to see if it makes a difference. The next test is, can it operate with one battery? Well, we'll take a battery out. It does not operate with one battery, but let's flip the switch around. Maybe it's the direction of the switch towards the battery. still does not work. Well, maybe it's the position. Well, let's put a battery on this side. Let's see if that makes a difference. Nothing. Oh, but wait, let's switch the switch around just to make sure there's no issue. nothing. But if I put this battery back in, it starts right up. But we're going to try one thing else. So what I have here is a 1.5 amp 
battery. It is actually six, five or six years old and it is dead. It will not charge anymore. So I'm gonna put this in one of the battery slots and see what happens. And I have the key pointed towards what I consider a good battery. Nothing. So you have to have two fully charged 18 volt batteries in this unit for it to run. So a lot of questions I get are about this door right here. Um, you can purchase an accessory basket or a bag that goes on the back of this. But as you can see from my videos, as I'm going along, the clumps are just coming out. Boom, boom, boom. Almost like a hay baler in a field. So this door pops open when it gets filled and a chunk falls out. That bag would fill up like every 10 or 15 feet on a lawn that's only dethatched once or twice a year. On my son Joe, I threw the bag in the trash because I just couldn't empty it enough. So some people say, well, why don't you prop this door up and let the, the thatch come out in clumps or just come out evenly. Um, the clumps are way easier to pick up. I rake them up and then whatever's left over, I go over with the mower. Yeah, I could prop this door open like this and then just run the mower after that. Yeah, that would probably work too. I've never tried it, maybe I should. But for now, I just let the door go down and as the clumps build up, they pop open. So there has been a ton of discussions in my comments regarding the batteries and why when I switched from a three amp hour to a six amp hour, I didn't have any other problems. And I made the assumption or the assertion that it was more power because it was six amps. And there were the electrical engineers and there were some great explanations in the comments and some were just trolling and telling me I was just straight up wrong. Well, what I learned from that discussion was that even though all four of these are 18 volt batteries, this 1.5 amp hour battery has 36 watt hours. This standard 18 volt battery has 48 watt hours. This HP battery has 54 watt hours. And this Chinese knockoff six amp hour battery has 90, where is it? I just saw it a minute ago, 90 watt hours. So 90 watt hours compared to 36 watt hours. This battery has three times more power than a 1.5. And that's why the six amp hour battery or a nine amp hour battery for that matter is stronger than a standard three amp or a four amp or a five amp or whatever. So as you get higher in amp hours, you also get higher in power. So here's my front yard. It is 1,500 square feet from that line all the way through here. And then this other piece here, plus the curb strip all along here. And I was able to do that on one battery charge. And boy, doesn't that lawn look good? That's two and a half weeks out since I dethatched. So here's my back lawn. This is about a thousand square feet. And this is about a week out from dethatching. You can see it still hasn't filled in yet. Uh, and it's, but it's looking really good. In both cases, I didn't check the batteries after they were done because it was still running when I was finished. So I can't tell you how much battery usage you can get, but I can tell you that two six amp hour batteries will clear at least 1500 and it probably could have done this as well. So that would have been about 2,500 square feet. All right, last point I'm gonna make. I've heard that this is a cheap, lightweight piece of crap compared to my Sun Joe or my Greenworks. But guess what? These things are made out of the exact same plastic, have the exact same wheels, they weigh the same amount. This one's a little bit heavier because it has a 120 volt motor in it. This one has a cordless motor. These are built exactly the same and they are the same quality, period. As I wrap up this video, I just have a couple of things to say. 
I want to thank everybody for watching my previous video. It's been a huge success. The comments and questions have been overwhelming, and I'm just awestruck by the support I've received. I do know one thing for sure. I'm sticking with this Ryobi, and I'm not going to be dragging this cord around my yard anymore. Ryobi introduced this as the model P2740 on May 20th, but as of today, it hasn't been released on the Home Depot website and is listed as coming soon on the Ryobi website. But rest assured, as soon as it's available, I'll have a link to in this video and in the previous video so you can pick one of these up for yourself. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you do hit that bell for notifications i've got some videos over here you may be interested in subscribe buttons right down here thanks for watching data yourself